so this is reshma so today i am to i am going to start with a new topic in design and analysis of algorithms that is uh, backtracking so now backtracking is an algorithmic technique which is used for solving the problems recursively so to build a solution it will be built incrementally by adding one element at a time so now during this process we may need to remove some solutions so because some solutions may not satisfy the constraints so all these steps can be done by the construction of a state space tree so for the construction of the state space tree we can use a dfs technique in backtracking so now Proceed with space state space tree. A state space tree is a tree of choices being made to find the solution. So, for the construction of such state space tree, we should start from the root node and continue building the tree so till we reach the leaves. So, now the, for the construction of this, each node will be having a specific role. So now let's start with the root root node so here the root node represents the initial state of the state space tree so before we start searching for any solution so the tree before we begin search for the solution we have to represent a starting node for the tree that is the root node so once we represent the root node we should continue with the first level nodes so now this represents the choices made for the first component of the solution in the second level again it will represent choices made for the second component then third level choices made for the third component so and so on so like this if we continue we will end up with the leaves of the state space tree and here the leaves represents either the dead ends or complete solution if it is the dead end we have to backtrack or if it is a solution so either here we can stop or search for the next solution so now between the root and leaves we are having the nodes at different levels and they may lead to dead end or the solution based on that those nodes can be categorized as promising node and non promising node so promising node is a node which represents a, to a partially constructed solution that is it corresponds to partially constructed solution and it still leads towards the complete solution so if it leads toward the complete solution then that node is referred to as a promising node once we find the promising node to move towards the solution we need to generate a child for the generation of the child we need to add the first element from the remaining options so once we add the first element from the remaining option to generate the child again the process continues by checking whether this child is a promising node or not if it is a promising node again generate the child for that promising node and the process again moves to this child and this will continue so we will get the final solution so now other type of node is the non promising node again this node corresponds to the partially constructed solution but it does not leads to the complete solution if you found such non promising node instead of moving towards the leaves we need to backtrack to its parents so now after backtracking to the parents we need to add the next option so sometimes we may get the option to continue or we may not get the option so if we get the option we have to continue otherwise if there is no such option we need to go back or we have to backtrack one more level up again backtracking to the parent the grandparent so again we need to check 
is there any other option to continue towards the solution if we form the next option we have to continue towards the leaves towards the solution otherwise again we have to backtrack one more level up to the in the tree in this process continues so finally the algorithm reaches the end that is either it may give the complete solution or the dead end if it is dead end we have to stop otherwise if it, there is a solution again here either you can stop or continue if, I, if only one solution is there we have to stop otherwise if you are having more than one solution we need to continue searching for other possible solutions so now here we have discussed how to construct the tree so then the structure of the state space tree that is how the state space tree looks so it looks like this so here as we have seen it starts with the root node that indicates the beginning the starting node before starting before beginning the solution then we will be having the leaf nodes which are indicated using the red and this pink color so here red nodes I have used to indicate the dead ends then this pink node indicates the solution in between the root node and the leaves we are having different levels that is level 1 level 2, level 3, level 4, like this we have the many levels and the nodes in these levels may be either promising node or non-promising node. So here promising node means which leads to solution for example up to this if I come up to this partial solution so now I have to find whether it leads to a solution or not. Yes, if I come here, see, this leads to the second solution. So, we can call this as promising node. Again, this node also leads to the solution, promising node, promising, promising node, and so we got the solution. So, these green color nodes, which leads us to the solution, so we call these as promising nodes. And here I have three red color leaves, that is, these are the dead ends, which are not the solution. So, now if I go for this yellow color, node so this node it doesn't leads to the uh, solution so we call this as non promising node so these are also the part of these are also corresponds to the partial solution but they will not leads to solution so these are the non promising nodes so then another component in this state space tree is the symbol this is used for backtracking so where we have come across backtracking here so whenever we will find a non-promising node that is which will not lead to the solution i have to go back to its parents and then search for the next option if i find the next option okay otherwise i have to move one level up again check for the solution if solution the option if option is there okay otherwise again we have to backtrack to the parent so like this for the given problem statements, we have to construct the state space tree to find the solution. So, and we said in backtracking, construction of the state space tree is done using DFS, that is depth first search. Means I have to start from the root, I have to continue till I reach the leaf, that is, we are constructing from root to leaf, we are increasing by depth. So, first this node, then this. Next here, 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 here. Then I have to backtrack again top to bottom approaches. That is the <coughs> DFS technique. So now the algorithm which will be used here is we have taken some input that is the given legitimate input. Then we have to generate all possible solution. If the solution satisfies the condition, we have to go for the next, next, we have to repeat. Otherwise, we have to backtrack. So now you see what are the purpose of using backtracking? What are the applications here? So backtracking this leads to some very interesting application, very interesting games or very interesting problem solving. Different type of problems can be solved in real time. Right? So for example, these are the some of the applications which I have just uh, not uh, listed down here. So now if I go for this sudo code, so all of 
of you may be already familiar with this so that is here this is a numbering game or the word game character game so where we have to fill the table based on some condition so now assume that this one example indicates generation of the numbers from 1 to 9 for each row row column so now here what we will be doing so we have to start with by filling the digits one by one by filling we may found that the number may lead to the solution or it may not satisfy the condition if it is not satisfying the condition we have to backtrack then we have to try with the next digit so it is here backtracking if it is not satisfying the condition so here we have used the backtracking technique so another example is a rat in a mesh so assume that we have a rat at the source location that is here top left corner the rat has to reach the destination that is here right bottom corner so now while moving from source to destination the rat has to follow only two directions it can move either forward direction or backward direction it can't move upward or left direction so now for example so while moving if it come across if it found that there is no further path to reach the destination in such case the rat has to backtrack to the previous position then it has to search for the new path so that it can reach the final destination so you can uh, take some other example so just for the demonstration purpose i have used this but here the rat is moving to the left side also but actually it should not move to the left if there is no path then it has to it has to for example here it has to move right side but there is no path it has to move backward that's you have to back for backward so backtracking so this is another example for backtracking so next is n quiz this is a very interesting topic this i will discuss in detail in the coming videos so now here back n queens problem is a problem of n queens n chess queens that is if there are n queens we have to take n cross n chess board and we have to place the queens in the chess board so that no two queens can attack so but while placing we have to follow some condition that so like a next queen can't be placed in same row same column and same diagonal of the previous queen so again this i will discuss in detail in the coming sessions so this is another interesting example or application of backtracking so next we are having sum of subset so this is also uh, very very important related to like objectives or uh, uh, aptitude type of uh, examinations so now here sum of subset problems so here they will be given we will be having a uh, set which contains some n numbers from that set we need to find all possible subset such that the sum of the elements of the subsets must adds to the required sum so now to find this here we have to follow some condition like inputs whatever the numbers we are considering in the set should be positive numbers and all elements must be unique no duplicate elements numbers should be present for example here i have set s which contains the elements 1 2 5 6 8 and i need to find these subsets whose sum is equal to 9 so here i got the two solutions subset 1 subset 2 which give the solution sum up to 9 this problem can also be solved using backtracking so we will be discussing this also in detail in the coming videos so next problem is the graph coloring so this is very very important because using this graph coloring technique we can we can color the maps that is world map each region of the map can be colored differently without creating any confusion between one region to the another region for that we are taking the help of the graph coloring so in graph coloring what we will do so each vertex should be colored that is here by taking making use of minimum number of colors we need to <coughs> assign color to the vertices such that no two adjacent vertices should have same color for example this one vertex so adjacent to this green is these three all are different color if you go for this vertex it is adjacent to green so this is red now if i go here 
this vertex is adjacent to red and also to green so i have to use some other color so like this we need to find the minimum number of colors that can be used to color the graph properly now whatever the minimum number of colors we are using that is referred to as a chromatic number so now here this the graph represent the different ways to color when the number of ways to color the given graph using chromatic number is referred to as chromatic polynomial so this is another interesting example of backtracking so now we will go for hamiltonian cycles so hamiltonian cycle is a path traveling from one node to the same node so we have to start from one node in the graph then i have to visit all other vertices exactly once and finally i should come back to the source node if it is possible to move like this then that path is referred to as hamiltonian cycle so i redefine hamiltonian cycle is a path from a node to itself by visiting all vertices in the graph exactly once so now if a graph contains such hamiltonian cycles it is called hamiltonian graph so now in the hamiltonian cycles problem using backtracking we need to determine whether the given graph contains hamiltonian cycles or not if it contains hamiltonian cycles we just need to print so for example you can just see here start from here visiting all vertices exactly once and finally coming back some other examples we can also see here if okay so these are the some of the graphs which shows presence of hamiltonian cycles so these are some concepts or some applications of backtracking and how the space, state space tree can be generated to find the solutions for the backtracking so if you have any doubts please share or ask your doubts by subscribing to my youtube channel